So hello everyone, once again this is Aqua Kazoo. Welcome back to Game 3 between Lin and Loaded. And if you have not game if you have not watched game one and two, do go watch it first, as definitely high level PvP plays was exhibited by both teams previously. So right now in the game three between Loaded and Lin is 1-1 right now. As we are waiting for game three to start. So we're just telling, I'll just go Marshall and another match with Greenwood, so I'm telling them that I'm going to be late. But both teams actually load very fast here, you can see selecting the lineups right away. As so Lustra choosing to come out this time, and Kifuni Chan as well. The shooting star, both very good players here. But Ryu not too sure why she didn't on his shoe, I think she didn't realize. And just watch out for the flash grenade here, nice hammer strike there to force the knockdown on the area vision here. Baited well from the start, Watch the Baba Baba as well. Avoids the gravity grenade there, they use defensively as well, as the baby Chico is out. And the Ice Bomb Tower, this guy is not caught by the Ice Bomb Tower here. Ice Spear used defensive position here. Kifuni Chan doesn't get frozen, gets out to safety with a nice rocket jump here. Gravity grenade plays well once again, but you can see the Vacuum Ping by Ryu used well. Flitting Sword! Avoided the Ping Pong, avoided as well. Bio Chemical Missile connects this time. This is getting silenced here, actually amidst all those um, little things. See the Alfredo, see the Mecha Dark as well, just getting caught by the Alfredo, get to the Bubba once again! Kifuni Chan with the Splash! And the Ping Pong Avada with a nice look attack here, the Ping Pong will have taken it away! The Flash gonna beta, 40% HP right now for Kifuni Chan. And that was definitely a pity here, she gets the flinch from the Mental Gravity Ball. Gets caught by a Glacier Wave here, but you can see the Alfredo transition damage. She doesn't have a Fortress up here, Rin doesn't fall to the Wax. Fortunately, as Kifuni Chan takes more damage here. For the Freezing Swords, get caught by the Poison Spray as well. Area Vision baited here. Gravity Grenade! Oh, very close between these two players here. 26% HP for Kifuni Chan, which means she was down to 16% HP. But Ryu, the Illustra here, very important member for Lin, taken away right now. As loaded in a very good position once again. 5 players to 4 at the moment, but the Illustra is a very key player to a queue of 4 mode 5, I believe. And it's definitely. Not good for Lin at the moment. As you see, Tai Sushi the destroy coming up. Gets caught by a stun grenade from the beginning. As Kifuni Chan not using her quick attack wisely. Wags as well. Gonna see the bubble bubble come very soon. Gravity ball. Gravity grenade to keep him there as he avoids. Aerial revision timing here is good. Gets caught by a circle swing flash grenade. Oh, look at that. The splash. She gets caught by a rolling attack. Aerial revision timing here is good. 3% HP at the moment. But the ring bombs. Boom, boom, boom. Dun, dun, dun. Takes away Kifuni Chan here. As Tai Sushi gets one back for Lin. So the ring bombs there definitely very well placed by Tai Sushi as he managed to drag it. Actually the rocket jump was used, I thought I thought that Kifuni Chan would be safe, but no. But now we see Ring X Triple I the Majesty coming up to do extremely well here. You can see by the punching swing, oh that is definitely a mistake. Void blast in the normal attack. Oh the normal attack doesn't find the target, gravity grenade. I mean gravity ball EX used well here, confusing myself the names. Just be careful, as I think Tai Sushi is just buying time for the Cyclone Axe combo here. You see the Force Mirror debuff there, 10 seconds left. He's trying to wait for the time stop, so even if Iron Skin, you can be time stop. Empowering how used. Time stop here, avoided. Needs to be careful here, I think what he needs to do. Oh, switch gravity against Maelstrom How Maelstrom How wins! Ring's gonna get taken away, the Cyclone X is out! Oh, She was at the middle of that Cyclone X here, there's no way she could get out even with the reactive blink she could. But the HP she had left was definitely too low for that to happen. You can see the switch gravity, the gravel is still in the arena there. That's my computer, choosing not to let it disappear. Probably signifying the epic battle between these two teams. I'm just using use well for Mimi Cat Captain. He's trying to bait the Crisis Howl there, but I can see Tai Sushi not using it. At this time he's knocked down, there's no way he can use it right now. Might be taken away with the rolling attack very soon. Where's the Maelstrom Howl? Yes, here he comes. And the whirlwind. Mimi Cat the Captain redeems itself once again. It's gonna be close. Very close right now. Going to be close. 
You see extra lemon of Fawning and Mimi Kang for Loaded. And on the opposite side, I believe we have Kojikia, the Captain, the Adept. We have the Artillery, Josephine. Or Kojikia this time. I mean, Mimi Kang needs to redeem himself in Game 3. I mean, two times he didn't redeem himself. So, it's getting trapped right now. You can see the number of grenades being thrown. Hang on, punch, catch him after he tumble here. Hey, Ranger Beta, hang on, wall, use guard once again. Needs to be careful by the hypnosis here. He's playing it safe, you can see he doesn't rush in. Gets caught by the Magma Wave, nevertheless. Needs to be careful. Let's come on, let's start the grenade here! Max Infection! Let's drop power used to tank the damage, but blah 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 on Ice Beam once again! The killer combo for you! I can see the Rowan getting a breaking point to the Storm, no, the Storm avoided with a nice big attack here! She gets a go swing into the ring bombs! Let's watch out for the Cyclonex coming! Oh ho! BB Cat here! Finally redeeming himself, I believe! Let's drop power off cooldown, I believe! Punching swing! The captain finally wins a face off here! I would say Kojikia wins overall 2-1, but this is a crucial game tree as Lin once again comes from didn't come quite didn't come, didn't come what am I saying? Didn't quite come from the back. Sorry. Yeah. I mean yeah laughing now but it's cool. <laughs> but loaded coming from the back. You can see the epic moment, the switch gravity barrels are still around. Face the triangle shot here, next tracking arrow is gonna come. Scoop arrow first. Oh, Anger Shot, goodbye, Mimi Kek, as Josephine does well here, bring back a 2 2. But I believe the Gear Master, no, the Shooting Star, Kifuni Chan from Loaded will be coming up next to fight Josephine, so it's gonna be tough. And you can see Loaded still have a Fornia here to go up against their yeah, extra lemon from Lin. It's gonna be tough for both teams either way. I would say it's 50 50 at the moment. But they send the Saints first. Oh, whoa, Kifuni Chan was taken away, my bad. It's a Fonia and extra lemon one thing. And with the Guardian Genova here, I think Lin in a good position. Checking arrows. Yeah, she goes to landing right behind the artillery, unfortunately. She nearly cancelled here. As you can see, Josephine needs to do what he needs to do with the block. Baited here. So what I do is get a death arrow to hit. Come on! Oh this almost there. Anchor shot connects here, crucial, no relics in the field. No relics in the field. Extra lemon in trouble here. Needs to get an arrow brush right now. No relic. relic. He's forced. But you can see the damage is done. Needs to prevent him from doing the heals. Definitely. This trap is casting. Come on, Josephine. From Lin. As I'm supporting both teams. He was back from 6% HP, 58% HP. You can see the holy shield as well. Healing him for more extra damage. Look at that. Every hit she does is actually healing him back up faster. Oh look at that, shot where you use Josephine to skip 10 HP. Extra level fight fights back right now. 67% HP right now. You can see Josephine trying to fight it, trying to kill. Do the necessary damage and then just back out. But she can't back out or be too comfortable until like the 50 second mark. And to see all the skills being cast here. To see extra level casting all the skills he can. Oh it was fortunate not to get hit by the zetting and the arrow there because of the block. So you have taken more damage here. gets caught by a lightning relic placement. Oh, the holy burst as well, Josephine! It's going to be tough for Josephine. Definitely, extremely tough here. Mr. Shell Lemon does well in game 3 for loaded. Look at that, all restoration to heal. 74% HP, the relic's behind, she needs to go closer, the anchor shot connects! Checking arrows! Oh, it goes to the right target here, the arrow brush is out! Extra Lemon in trouble! In trouble now! Knocks him down once again, this is a definitely arrow, connect! Oh, the connection is bad! Gets a lucky stunning shot here! 11% HP but Rick Relic is forced! You can see the oh you can see the holy shield healing extra element there. That was crucial definitely. If not, extra element might have been taken away. Two seconds left on the holy relic there. Look at the the, the arrow shower heals extra element back to more HP. Josephine's 38% HP right now. Extra element for two percent. Is how close these two teams is gonna be. It's really down to the wire. 41% HP, 38% HP, 30 seconds left. Holy Burst cancelled, Anchor Shot, oh! Triangle Shot avoided with a nice lying stab, which gets caught by a Twin Shot, 38%, 37% HP, that's in the arrow, placed! In the Sentry Arena there, the Scope Arrow doesn't find the target, 56% HP right now for extra damage after he healed, 15 seconds left on the clock. Rapid Shot to the face, Anchor Shot connects, cannot get hit by the Chain Lightning, oh she does, and then that's it, it's gonna be over, 5 seconds left! 
This is your vertical tracking tracking arrows here for Josephine. No nope. extra lemon does it well against Josephine. I would say it's definitely a good fight by extra lemon and Josephine. Josephine definitely does well. But it's down to Genova, the Guardian, who previously couldn't actually handle Extra Lemon. Needs to play extremely aggressive here, 55% HP for Extra Lemon, Justice Crash, and Electric Smite combo needs to hit early on. The Lightning Zap as well to prevent him from a successful casting of skills, prevents and not get hit by the Lightning Relic placement here. He does well not to get hit by the Lightning Relic at the start, Armor Break as well. Gets hit by Chain Lightning there, the Holy Bone is connect, no it doesn't connect here. Electric Smite I frame used well on the Holy Burst into Justice Crash, 6% HP on the blocks coming soon, he needs to not get disrupted on his combos here, 2% HP, 1% HP! No, gonna let him back out, the Lightning Zap connects like Houston at 50% HP, the block's gonna be cast, no the block was cancelled. 10% HP right now, Aeration baited. See the Binding Relic plays offensively, 6% HP right now for Extra Lemon, He's fighting for his life. Chain Lightning connects as well, to the Healing Relic. Extra Lemon safe for the moment. Electric Smile cancelled by the Lightning Divine Fear as Jinova backs out to Divine Vata, but you can see the Miracle Relic use to counter that. 1% HP at the moment. Extra Lemon will be happy to see that he survived, and Jinova will be there to see that he didn't kill him. You can see the Shield Charge pushes him away, but the Miracle Relic buff actually lasts for an extra 5 seconds after you get hit by the buff. So pulling person out doesn't really matter. Justice Crash is all oh, 0% HP! Yeah. Genova grabs it back for Lin as right now it's gonna be a Tempest up against a Guardian in the crucial game 3 here between Lin and Loaded. Enjoying this fight very very much here between these two teams. Have been showing us quality thus far, definitely going to share this video on the Facebook page tomorrow after all the other matches have ended. But I'm Running very late in Greenwood, it's 15 minutes late at the moment. But this is the last crucial match here. You can see the Switch Gravity Gyros are not gone yet. Of course, the Holy Relic here, I mean the Holy Boat, with a nice kick, second kick iframe. Oh, Fonia definitely does his drop bell. You can see the jumping baiting for the tumble. Oh, the Hurricane Arts connects here, Genova in trouble. 25% HP. It's caught by a kick shot continuation, gets a lucky block there for Genova. The block cancelled, no, it's there. 13, 13 seconds on the block right now. As a Fona to Spirit Boost. Genova definitely finding time for the Divine Barsa here. It's getting caught. His block counters, 4 seconds left. Next Hurricane Nuts might take it away. He will come the moment he Divine Barsa, I believe. He plays his timing well. Fireball attacks, 3% HP, just to scratch it defensively. Divine Barsa saves it for now, but the Hurricane Dance, he needs to be careful of that. Fauna wisely avoids the lightning zap here. Hurricane Dance! Yes! <laughs> As Loaded wins the game overall 2 to 1. I thank these two teams for such a great match. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll be going to Greenwood where you'll be electric going up against DC Dudu. And after that, we'll go to Westwood to see. VGX go up against, oh uh, no, I can't remember the name, Kenshi, where are you? Oh, my Skype is off, so never mind, I will say the name later on. So once again, thanks for watching, don't follow us on twitch.tv slash Heaven on our live stream. If not, subscribe to Twitch Intensity Gaming, our YouTube channel as well if you have not. Thanks for watching once again, God bless, and I'll see you.